this this morning um, because uh, my bacon wrapped asparagus because I have some asparagus that I need to use because they're about to go and I don't know I hope you can see this but I'm going to show I don't know if you can tell but if you can see I don't know if you can tell from here but these tips are like really green and mushy and looking a little slimy versus these tips that still look fresh so I'm going to pick through these and come and find the ones that are most still viable that I can make a couple of bundles of bacon wrapped asparagus and I'm going to discard the rest of them so I don't know maybe I'll save them for just a bit I can always throw them I can always do an alfredo and throw them in some of alfredo These are the ones that still look the most fresh to me. And the rest of these, I think I'll cut up real quick and throw them in the freezer. <coughs> I guess I could probably toss them. And some asparagus. I mean, in some Alfredo, or maybe in an egg frittata. So we'll see if we can salvage these. I hate to throw good vegetables away. Okay, so I disregard the very ends of the asparagus because these are you these this part. Is always tough. Now many people lay them on the counter and cut them off. I don't. I take it and I break it because <coughs> the asparagus will actually break at a natural breaking point. You just take the end and bend it. <coughs> like I say, uh, that one not so much. It'll snap at most likely a natural snapping point where the tough part meets the tender. So there, I have my asparagus. Now I am going to, because I'm wrapping them in bacon, and uh, the bacon already has salt, I'm not adding salt <laughs> to my asparagus. So I'm just gonna spritz them with a little olive oil. and toss them around a bit. I'm then gonna toss in a little Parmesan cheese.
for breakfast when I have my breakfast uh, mukbangs. I'm using thick sliced bacon here. I'm just going to use regular sliced bacon and I'm going to take Asparagus in a bundle. And starting from the bottom. Well, first of all, I want to line my asparagus up because it's also something else I want to do with the tip so that they don't burn. So, starting from the bottom. I'm going to tightly wrap the bacon around the asparagus. Now, I'm going to take some strips of aluminum foil. And I'm going to wrap the tips of the asparagus in the foil so that when I put them in the air fryer, The tips won't burn <coughs> before the bacon is cooked. Just like that. I'm also gonna go ahead and put my cinnamon rolls. As well as my biscuits in the oven while I have the asparagus in the air fryer. And I will see you guys back in a bit.
YouTube and Merry Christmas. Lovely black butterfly here back for a special Christmas breakfast mukbang. Um, and today we have biscuits and gravy. I've got some um, cheesy scrambled eggs with um, avocado. I've got some bacon, sausage, and my famous bacon wrapped asparagus. I hope every one of you are having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And without further ado, let's get into the food. I've also got my cup of cappuccino here. And then I've got my water. Which is actually really, really refreshing. <sighs> oh. I wanted to do, I've got actually got two videos. I've actually got two videos that I'm in the process of editing. However, I did want this Christmas video to go out before those two. So just remember, when you see those, those were actually made prior. this video. Now, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. I really do. I'm glad you're home from the hospital. I hope you're doing better. Keep your spirits up, girl. Running Tracy's video all day yesterday. She's got some wonderful videos out there. If you haven't checked her out, go ahead and do so. It's Cooking with Tracy. I also would like to give a wonderful Merry Christmas to Sheila. Promo SK and her husband. Merry Christmas to eating with eating with K Cotton. Merry Christmas to Marquise Hilson. Sent and Mo. Merry Christmas, Chrissy P and PR Gang.
picky dill. Snoopy Eats 408. Merry Christmas up there in Canada. to my cousins, Robin and Nate, Barbara, to my aunt, Eva Ralston, Merry Christmas. To my mom, Betty Scott Ralston, Betty Ralston Scott. Merry Christmas. I love you guys. Mm. The cappuccino is good. It's about as Christmas festive as I got. <laughs> My pajamas with my penguins on them. Not really that big on Christmas. When my kids were younger, I went to a Pentecostal church, Pentecostal Church of God. To all my PCG people out there, hey. But. We didn't celebrate holidays.
I'm not just not any really mine. At the time, I don't think. Because his birthday, which all of our, just about everybody in my family's birthday is in February. And I always made a big deal with his birthday. Especially since Christmas wasn't we didn't celebrate Christmas. And after I left the church, And it still was never really a priority in my life. I could take it or leave it. But instead of blatantly denying the holiday altogether, You know, I participated in some, you know, of the activities at work. Gift exchanges, things like that. Whereas before, when I was actively in the church, I would outright, you know, refuse to participate in anything that had to do with the holiday. Alright guys, I'm starting to get full now. I'm not totally, totally off for the holiday. The way our company works is that the holiday is from midnight to midnight. So even though I worked last night, I got off at midnight.
which means tonight after midnight I have to go back to work so hmm. I'm just gonna lounge around get this video edited and out to y'all I want this to be out on Christmas before midnight. <laughs> I said there's a Christmas breakfast. I want you guys to have it on Christmas Day. And if I don't see you beforehand, I hope each and every one of you have a very happy and prosperous new year if you like my video give me the thumbs up if you're a subscriber welcome back to the butterfly nest if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and get, click that subscribe button turn it from red to gray click the bell so you always get notifications when new videos come available as always, like, share, comment, and as always, lovely black butterfly spreading my wings.